they, they can either be have grief because of somebody who isn't there uh, for one reason or another because they died or um, you know you broke up with somebody or whatever it is and so there's sadness and then other times there's you know frustrating uncle fred you know um and my apologies to anybody who's named fred um but um in both cases um we need to remember that that english expression of you make me mad um it needs to like go out the window rather uh we can just say you know when fred talks about such and such i get mad <laughs> you know and so that already redirects us and not at fred because we can't do anything about fred really except yell at him which is probably not going to help i'm guessing um but if we you know turn it inward and go well how can i work with this situation um in a way you know so that i can be comfortable and i can get underneath whatever is coming out of Fred's mouth and find my way to just him as a fellow human being who wants to be happy and doesn't want to suffer. Um, often I find that a lot of the political arguments are more identity um, differences, you know, an us them idea. And um, just about everybody believes that our kids should be um, well-educated and enjoy going to school. But now how, you know, what's taught in the education or how the schools are done or whatever, you know, we can have disagreements about how that's done, but there's a fundamental there that is actually in common. And, and the wanting not to suffer and wanting to be happy is absolutely a fundamental in common. So if we, you know, switch the lens, lens from what, what we disagree with them on, and, and it may not be politics, it may be, you know, family stuff as well. Can we switch the lens to what we have in common um, and find a way of joining? You know, are we even looking for that? So that, that's about our own switching our lens. And it might um, produce a better uh, interaction with the frustrating relative, it might anyway, at least uh, cause us to feel better inside.